So one of my former athletes that I used to coach about 12 years ago, she sent me a message uh, asking for coaching advice. She started working at a gym. Their head coach just up and quit on her. Their routines were completely chaotic, but I ended up doing two brand new routines from start to finish. I did the dang thing and I think they look 110 times better than what they did when I got there. All right guys, so it's about 6.18, just got dropped off at the airport. About to hop on this flight to Indiana. Let's do work. All right guys, so I just made it through security, TSA. Apparently my gimbal for uh, my phone looks like a weapon of some sort. So they had to go through that thoroughly. All cleared, head to my gate. I wanna fly like an eagle to the sea. Go out and have a great rest of your day. Alright, so just landed in Chicago. Now I got a two hour drive to a town called Winnemac, Indiana. I believe it's another two hours. Yeah. We're ready for a full day of cheerleading. I'm probably gonna be a lot different than what y'all are used to. That's, hey, I know you're not talking while I'm talking. That's number one no no. Ever. If you hear my voice, you stop and listen. Even if I'm talking to somebody over there. Y'all are literally about to die the first 15 minutes of practice, though. Victory consistently, train all year to be the enemy's misery. No stress visibly, neither does it enter me. I think positively, you can't harm me mentally, not physically, not spiritually. You never get rid of me. I am the epitome. Of this is what you did to me. Nothing's what you did for me. Okay. 8.20 a.m. and guess what y'all, it's snowing. Real pretty dope, but the good thing about this gym is that's where I'm staying. There's the gym. Hey, She's gonna drive me, but I, I wanted to get myself walking in the snow because we don't really get that down in Texas. So I'm walking in the snow. See y'all guys in a bit. Another full day of cheerleading. 8.30 to 7.30 today. Ooh, hope my, hopefully I don't die. All right, so I have a private lesson with, what's your name? Haley. Haley at 8.30 this morning because they crazy trying to get me in the gym early. And I asked her mom how the snow is going to affect people being here. And guess what? She said, we're only going to get four to five inches. And it shouldn't affect anybody, and most people would be here crazy because you know all of Texas would have shut down. Okay, two minutes into practice, and look. <laughs> Already conditioning. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, it's currently 12 p.m. midnight. I wish I could actually see the snow and how high it is. Like, there's mountains. I guess I'll uh, record so you can see better with a flash. I won't be in the video, but to make this hike up to the house, but I'm going to record on the opposite side so y'all can check it out. Look, when I say mounds of snow, oh, look, oh, I didn't know there was that Like. Mounds of snow, that's big, bro. I gotta walk through this mess. 